Let's take a look at how activities work together in Exchange Data. An activity often provides a service for another activity and needs to report the results. You can think of an activity as roughly analogous to a method in the sense that it does the work for you. You invoke it and pass arguments. It performs its job and returns the results. Activities support three possibilities for return values. No return values, only a success or failure code, or data and a success or failure code. Source and target activities pass several pieces of data between them. The full data flow between activities is fairly complex. The source activity sends a request code and intent extras to the target. The target returns the same request code, this happens automatically, a result code, and an intent containing a bundle of extras. This explanation intentionally avoids discussing intent data, action, and categories, since those are typically used with implicit intents, which we have not yet covered. In particular, the data is sometimes used instead of intent extras to pass one argument from source to target, and then to return a single result from target to source. Source and target activities use activity methods to pass data. When a source activity needs to get results from a target activity, the interaction pattern changes from the standard start activity call we saw earlier. In the source activity, there are two changes. It calls start activity for result instead of start activity, and it overrides on activity result to receive the results when the target is finished. In the target activity, there's just one addition. It calls set result to return a success failure code and or an intent full of extras. So with all of this in mind, how many parameters would you say set result takes? The most general version takes two, an intent and a result code. The request code is passed back automatically, which makes this a bit of a trick question. You don't have to pass the request code back.